All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I would like to give our glory, honor, and infinite praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKudash. Once again, our praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKudash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well. And peace, love, salutations to the hope for the lit. <clears throat> Shalom, I'm the brother Ha'amayan from the Great Millstone, Columbus, Georgia camp. And um, through the spirit, just want to make a quick lesson. Um, going in on uh, Second Edges 14, verses 13 through 17. But the point is, um, you know, just getting over yourself and understanding that we must go through things. But, hey, this is what we signed up for. So... Although I got that precept listed first, I'm going to dive in to um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So make make yourself hey, getting ready. Make ready. Because this thing is about enduring. Verse 2, set thy heart aright. Your mind goes into the Hebrew word la'ab. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in a time of trouble. So you're supposed to, no matter what, man, we're supposed to constantly endure, constantly endure, constantly endure. No matter what, keep fighting. No matter what, don't give up. Don't let Satan win, man. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Verse 3. Cleave unto him. Who is the him? Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the heavenly father, which his name means he is because he is. He exists. He's omnipotent, the ancient of days. And once again, he is, man. That's our heavenly father, Yahweh. Bahasham, Ba me in ha, the sham name. In the name of who? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. <clears throat> His name means he saves, he delivers, right? So cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. It takes a sincere believer and a faithful brother or sister to constantly endure and take cheerfully, man. Because it said, be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. That goes into what? Humiliation, man. This thing is about being humble. Humility. And I myself as a babe, as a young brother in the camp, in this truth, um, I'm noticing that, man. You have to do that. Verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. See? So... And you want to come out like gold, you got to go through that fire, man. Adversities. And ultimately, that that fire that's about to come to America. We want to be um, found worthy so the Lord can um, deem us worthy so we can escape it. But I'm going to go into uh, Second Edges. Just want to tie that in to the topic. Second Edges 14 and 13. Now, therefore, Second Edges 14, 13. Now, therefore, set thine house in order. Meaning you, you first, that man in the mirror. Now, therefore, set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and renounce corruption. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. You know, feeling so sorry because it's one thing of being contrite. But then you don't want to be just overwhelmed and drowning in misery, man, because that's what the spiritual demon Shatan want to play on, man. Right then, that's when we have to, because it is a way, you have to pray. You have to pray. Talk to the Lord, man. And I'm, and I'm admonishing my, my damn self. Hey, I'm pushing myself, encouraging myself to, to, to do this when I find myself in these situations, man. You know? Put off now the weak nature and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. Give it unto the Lord, man, and haste thee to flee 
from these times. For yet greater evil than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. That's why, man, because in the times of Jacob's trouble, you know, we want to be doing all we can right now, getting girded up, built up through the spirit, grounded and rooted, you know, set, um, <clears throat> having that foundation, setting our affection on things above, cleaving unto the Lord, man, because it go, it's going to make sense in that day because you've been building now, you know, by putting off that weak nature, casting off that weak nature, you know, the mortal thoughts. Like the scripture says, set aside the thoughts that are most heavy. Um, it says, um, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Man, a lot is about to take place. So we got to spiritually um, shed that, that living, man, through the spirit. Get rid of that, that, that. They purge out so much, man. You know, and we know what we have to work on through the spirit. I myself, as me making this lesson, I know, you know. <clears throat> Operators out is be edifying to someone out there though. Um in the lesson off with Sirach, Ecclesiasticus chapter 30 and verse 21. Give not over thy mind to heaviness, and afflict not thyself in thine own counsel. No matter what it may be, man, it could be simple as a car. The car done broke down. Or you want this car to be how you want it to be. I mean, we are in the flesh, but you want this how you want it to be. It don't work like that, man. You know? You want a whatever it may be from your home, your wife, your wives, whatever, man, children or child, boss, man, supervisor, family member, whatever, even in your, even your own, your, your own, your own spirit, man. You know, spiritual wickedness in high places. So like you for paraphrasing that, you know, but hey, through the spirit, man, it says, give not over thy mind to heaviness. And afflict not thyself in thy own counsel. The gladness of the heart is the life of man. And the joyfulness of a man prolongeth his days. That's the balance, man. It says, love thy own soul and comfort thy heart. Remove sorrow far from thee. Why? Because it says, for sorrow have killed many. And there is no profit therein. Man, we have Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, man. The Lord is there. That's why we make these shows, man, to edify and teach ourselves first and foremost, man. Build ourselves up, you know, to do this work, you know. <laughs> hey, man, hey, Abiratus out there was an edifying lesson to someone out there. Hey, I would like to close out by giving our glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechah the but honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone, a teacher rule well. Peace, love, salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.